I'm Dr. Larry Goldstein, a professor of neurology and director at the, of the Stroke Center at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. Dissections of either the carotid or the vertebral arteries are a relatively common cause of stroke, particularly in young patients. This occurs when an artery to the brain is torn or ruptured, and as a result, either the vessel is closed off completely or small clots can form that can then travel into a distal brain blood vessel and cause stroke. The medical treatment of patients who have a carotid or vertebral artery dissection has really been uncertain. Uh, there was some data suggesting that treatment with a platelet antiarrogant, drugs like aspirin or clopidogrel, might be adequate. There was other data that suggested patients might benefit from uh, from anticoagulation, usually with 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 heparin followed by warfarin or coumadin. The duration of therapy also wasn't known. What was reported here at the International Stroke Conference was a study carried out predominantly in, in, in the United Kingdom and Australia in which patients who had either a carotid or a vertebral artery dissection were randomized to treatment with an anticoagulant as compared to an antiplatelet agent, most commonly clopidogrel. What was found, firstly, was that the risk of subsequent stroke was very, very low. Over a three-month period, recurrent stroke rates were 2% or less. More importantly, in this randomized controlled trial, although small, there was no difference between anticoagulant-treated patients and platelet antiaggregant-treated patients. The risk of recurrent stroke overall was identical in those two groups. Now, this was a pilot study. However, what was able to be done was based upon the, the, the incidence of recurrent stroke to carry out a calculation for how many patients would need to be randomized in order to have sufficient power to test the difference between those two therapies. And what was calculated was that that number would need to be close to 10,000 patients. That's completely unfeasible. So this type of data is probably the best data that we're going to get. And again, what was found was no statistical difference and no numeric difference in the risk of recurrent stroke related to treatment after a carotid or vertebral artery dissection with anticoagulants, warfarin compared to antiplatelet drugs.